how long a person hold breath benefits and risk a, the average person can hold their breath for 30 to 90 seconds this time can increase or decrease due to various factors such as smoking underlying medical conditions or breath training the length of time a person can hold their breath voluntarily typically ranges from 30 to 90 seconds a person can practice breath holding to increase their lung capacity and there are training guidelines to help individuals learn to hold their breath for longer periods training usually takes several months people may use these training techniques for advanced military training free diving swimming or other recreational activities this video will look at the physical effects of breath holding benefits risk and increasing lung capacity what happens when you hold your breath a person needs oxygen for their body to perform vital functions and holding in a breath prevents new oxygen from entering the body when people hold their breath the body is still using oxygen to function and to release carbon dioxide as a waste product because carbon dioxide has now where to go its levels within the body increase eventually triggering the involuntary reflex to start breathing again at first a person may feel a burning sensation in their lungs if they hold their breath long enough the muscles in their diaphragm will begin to contract to try to force breathing which can cause pain if an individual does not resume their usual breathing pattern they will lose consciousness and if they are in a safe location the body should automatically begin to breath breathe and start to get the oxygen it needs should a person not be in a safe location such as underwater it is at this time that drowning may occur benefits of breath holding holding in a in a breath may have some benefit for a person's health evidence suggest that increasing lung function and the amount of time a person can hold their breath may positively impact inflammation which may be important for autoimmune conditions help increase a person's lifespan and prevent damage to stem cells in the brain another study carried out on salamanders found that holding oxygen helped them regenerate brain tissue human participants have not taken part in this study although similar properties may exist in humans or other animals risk of breath holding a person can hold their breath safely when outside of water and in a safe environment and in most cases they will give give in to their body's responses to lack of oxygen before they pass out drowning when a person is underwater and gives in to their body's natural responses to breath the lungs will fill with water and the person may need emergency life-saving treatment to prevent a fatal outcome in 2015 the centers for disease control and prevention cdc reported on accidental drownings from dangerous water underwater breath holding behaviors this included social games such as breath holding challenges and training exercises the report identified that two men in the training process for advanced military testing had drowned after passing out underwater they had passed out due to the reduced pressure from the oxygen in their blood other risk factors unless a person holding their breath is underwater or in an 
equally dangerous environment they are not in any imminent danger however according to the journal of applied psychology some additional risk may include increase in blood pressure increased risk of brain damage loss of coordination reduced heart rate increase in blood sugar levels how to increase lung capacity if a person is interested in increasing their lung capacity they can train their bodies and lungs to go without oxygen for increasingly long periods divers may use apnea training to help them increase their lung capacity the idea behind the training is to gradually increase a person's ability to hold their breath by alternating between breathing and breath holding for a set number of minutes before attempting to increase their lung capacity a person should seek guidance from their healthcare provider and consider training with professional diving experts and those knowledgeable about life saving techniques